What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out a game called Ironcast, which is a turn-based strategy game based on an alternate version of 1880s history. I guess it was inspired by science fiction writers like H.G. Wells and Jules Verne. So it's basically 1880s Victorian England, but with giant mech suits. So I did play the tutorial and there is a lot more going on in this game than you would think. So I'm going to go ahead and get it fired up and we're going to talk some about what's going on in the game. So this is your base, and this is essentially where you'll do upgrades, repairs, um, ability upgrades, and all that kind of stuff. As you play through the game, your character gets experience points, and you can use those experience points to unlock either passive abilities or actual skill abilities. This is also where you will upgrade your mech. And as you defeat enemies in the field, you get copies of their blueprints. So you can do upgrades. Scrap comes from completing missions or there is a special node that you can get that will give you more scrap. So then you have your weapons, which can get passive abilities as well. Your character gets passive abilities. Um, and then you get skill abilities that you can like signature abilities. So these are the nodes that are in the game for doing combat and defenses, but We'll talk more about these once we're in there. So I just finished the tutorial. I don't have much to do in here. We basically just need to select a mission and get into it. Okay, so it looks like we have different difficulties of mission. Orange means medium difficulty. And then we have this one that's hard, which is a boss fight. So we'll go ahead and just try redding and see how this one turns out. Well, that guy lasted for one whole mission. So you have five, four primary nodes that you can get. Ammo obviously lets you fire your weapons. Energy allows you to use abilities like walk and raise shields. Coolant is to keep these systems running without actually damaging the mech and making it overheat. And then you have repair, which is for fixing damaged systems. Walking makes you more evasive to shots that come in at you, and you can have up to three levels of that, 5, 10, or 15% of evasion. Shields make you take less damage based on the level that you have. You can have up to three levels, 10, 20, or 30 points of reduction in damage. I imagine that as you go through this, that these systems get better and reduce more damage, but we'll have to see as we go through this. The other node that you'll see here is this is the scrap one, and you need to get three of these together to collect the scrap. But the weird thing is, is that like, this isn't like a traditional game where you can only go in like diagonals or whatever, or up and down. You can actually just draw out a pattern and collect all of these at once. So we'll pick up some repair. We need to pick up some energy. So we'll start with, now we'll go down here and then collect all of these. So that gets us a good deal of energy. And then we'll collect some ammo so that we can do some shots. Then we'll want to raise our shields, start walking so that we can reduce damage coming in. And then I think we'll do a second level of walk. And then our systems are still charging. So we can't fire for this first turn. So the other thing that you can do is target specific systems. So like we know that shields are going to reduce our damage and he's got a 15% reduction up right now. So we could target that specific system for when we do fire. But we'll just go ahead and end it now. So he hit our drives and he hit our defenses pretty hard. So we're gonna go ahead and spend some of our repair points on that. 
We need to get more energy. So you get three turns to match on this. Uh, what can we do here? So we want more repair. Okay, so that actually puts us in a better position to get more ammo. Okay, so Dunraven rocket pods fires a spread of six small rockets, each striking a random enemy system for 10% of its system system's max health up as damage. Okay, so we'll go ahead and use that. And then we'll go, so the energy lands has a higher chance to penetrate through shields. And since he's still got shields up, we're gonna fire the energy lands. And he's still got it. So we're gonna go ahead and do another shot with energy lamp. Okay. And then we need to repair this system. And then we'll raise shields again. We're gonna need coolant next round. So his shields are down, so we should be able to take him out this next round. Oh wow, he just increased his speed to 15% re evasion. So these are overcharge nodes, and basically you match them to gain an overdrive charge. These charges are used automatically on your next system activation to guarantee an overdrive effect. So if you used like your guns, it would do more damage. If you used your shields, it would be more of a resist on your shields. I want to try and get some of this scrap, but I think what we're going to do is do this. And then we'll pick up. Try and pick up some more energy. And that allows us to pick up scrap. We could pick up the scrap, but then we lose. Oh, we're gonna lose it anyways. So we just need to pick up the scrap because we don't have any points to fire. So let's go ahead and raise shields and then we'll start walking. And raise shields again. So we're out of energy. So each turn, your ability degradates by one. So if you have, like he had three movement and it went down to two and then he put it back up to three. So now we're just gonna focus on finishing this fight. So we'll pick up some more repair and that allows us to pick up a bunch more ammo. And then we'll use the rest of it to pick up energy and then we'll go ahead and fire and just finish this fight So we got 625 scrap and we got 6,820 XP. Now we actually leveled up. And we got a new blueprint for standard drive Mark II. So one thing to remember is, is that repairs are manual. It will not automatically fix your unit. So if you forget to do that, you could be at a, be at a disadvantage at the next mission. All right, let's see what we got. So it's more than we can pay, but let's do a whole upgrade to increase how much damage we can take. And go back out of here and we can see what upgrades we can get. So this is pretty good reflective shielding. There's a 20% chance that while shields are active, absorbed damage from each shot will be reflected back at the source weapon. The amount reflected back cannot be greater than the shield's current strength. 
collects all repair nodes from the grid. This is not classified as a match, so earns no XP. Emergency repairs instantly repairs the damaged subsystem to 100% health. If multiple systems have equal damage, one is randomly repaired. I think we're going to go with shield, reflective shielding. Since you're going to have to have that up all the time anyways, it would be good to have a chance to reflect it back. It already equipped it for us, but you can actually change out your different types of augmentations. But we're going to go ahead and leave that one in there. Okay, so we're repaired, we got our hull upgraded, and we got our new defensive shielding. So we're going to go ahead and pick the next mission. So this must be hard, yeah. Okay. So we got a medium for 555 plus 5330 XP. Okay, so they're both pretty close. Let's go ahead and just do this one. Pretty cool looking mech. Oh, sorry, ironclad, I mean. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just max out energy. And we still can't use our weapons this turn, but uh, it would be good to get some weapon systems going. I want to go this way so that I can stack all this ammo together. Yeah. Okay, so we're stacked up on ammo now. We, we could use our active ability. Um, but we want to raise shields. Raise them again. And start walking. And then we'll use our passive ability. Start getting some damage in on him. Miss me, punk. Okay, so we have a new type of node here, the chain node. This allows you to take different types of nodes and chain them together for one big thing. But we got a pretty crap hand here. So we're going to repair. And then we'll get back a bunch of repairs. This sucks. Okay, so... Uh... I guess we'll just do a charged shot and try and hit his uh, shield systems. And then we'll get more back. And we're kind of screwed on energy, so we're just going to start walking to try and avoid some damage. And then... Is his shield down? Okay, so his shields are down. So let's target his drives to prevent him from moving too. Oh wow, well, we almost got him. We need cooling bad for this next one though. 
but he'll be dead next round anyways. So we'll go ahead and pick up some coolant. And then we'll pick up some more ammo. Okay, so when you use overdrive, it gives you 10% versus the regular 5%. So basically just doubled it. Then we'll go ahead and fire the main weapon, which is better to use when he's not shielded. Pretty quick little matches. I imagine that they get harder later on. Okay, so Mark II Heavy Cannon and Mark II Shield. Most of these upgrades are pretty expensive though. you want that uh, I'm gonna say we'll go with general augmentation so the energy needs spawn 5% more often and that becomes a passive note on her and then I don't think there's anything that we can afford here yeah 750 750 now, we could do another hull upgrade, but I don't think we need it yet. So we're going to go ahead and just continue on to the next mission. Stack out our armor, get our energy up, and then do a bunch of repair. Go ahead and raise our shield, and then start walking, and then do the same thing again and fire our active ability. That actually did it quite a bit of damage to him. Plus we have the 30 damage reduction from um, using overdrive. Put an inner turn here. Oh man. Okay. We need to repair this. See what we can do here. We really just need to clear out all this crap. It's just taking up a bunch of room. So then we're going to target his defenses again. again start walking I kind of screwed that one up because I should have put more points in a repair instead of getting that last man that guy's gun hits hard
Okay. So he has no shields up. What gun is that? It's got to be the pulse repeater. actually die here. Oh, missed again. Oh, we got lucky on that one. cannon hits super hard. Got a bunch of XP for that one. That pulse repeater mark two is deadly. It's gonna cost us a fortune to repair all that. Okay, that leaves us with 800. Ooh, that's a good one. When your opponent's health falls below 15%, all damage is boosted by 10. And this is the damage reduction ability. Go ahead and get this one. I think I'm gonna get this one. Okay, cool. Uh, I think that's all we need to do here for now. So we'll go ahead and do another one. actually change the look of your ironclad at some point because there it looks a hell of a lot better than mine skip through this conversation i think i want to save that overdrive because i can't shoot the first round anyway
What? Abort immediately. Uh, what did I fill? I don't get it. I guess I was supposed to let their shields work, but apparently I damaged all the shields with my shot that randomly targets. Got it. I guess I should have paid attention to what she was saying. for walk, one for shield, and we'll shield again, and then use our ability. And we're going to target the shields for later. My god, man. So it's reflecting damage back at him, but good lord, there's a lot of damage. This is not good. up here. Man, we can't even get any movement. things hit this this is bad like that unreal man For repairs this round and then play catch up the next one. He's repairing.
I guess that wasn't the gun he was using in the last one. I thought it was. Yeah, so this is what I thought is eventually you're gonna run into multiple people at the same time in the same mission, I mean We lost that one. Okay, so there's different commanders you can unlock. That's cool. As well as different ironclad constructs. So it gives you different ways to play the game. Yeah, and they have different loadouts and stuff too, so that's pretty cool. So overall, not a bad little game. I mean, if you're just looking for something relaxing to play, this would be a good one to pick up. Especially if you enjoy these type of uh, strategy games like this. I mean, some of it is left up to chance where there was a couple of times where I just had garbage, nothing to work with, and you just have to be able to survive those kind of moments. There's also a ton left to do on this because you can unlock so many more ironclads and ironclad commanders and abilities and all these other things that help you do better in the game. It's definitely an interesting twist on a standard like Bejeweled style game where you're doing matching and things like that. So I'll probably continue to play this one just to see how far I can actually get in it. Not a bad little game for what it is. That's it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.